go ahead and talk about the research sector. The research sector is was the sector where people will go ahead and develop a new technology, and for that they will be get, getting some, uh, you know, some reward for it. So they are free to prospect, and nugget means reward that they will get for the idea that they will be selling. Now the ideas are uh, what are ideas ideas are designed for new capital good like creating a pvr is also idea creating microwave is also idea creating computer chip is also an idea so idea is a is anything that where you create new capital goods right whenever any new idea is created then for that the inventors will get themselves patent rights hai na to jo bhi idea wo naya banayenge uske liye unko ek patent right mil jayega now we know that what will happen is that the inventor will sell this patent to the firm who can use the ideas but in return these firms have to give money to these inventors have give have to give money to these inventors theek hai to ye jo jab ek inventor ne ek firm ko apna idea sell kiya to return mein firm ko paisa dena padega firm has to pay back money the question is how much money is this firm willing to pay right an answer is that it should be equal to present discount value of the profit earned by these firms it should be equal to present discount value of the profit earned by these firms so for example the present discount value of the profits that he will earn due to this technology this is more then what he is willing to pay for this technology suppose he is earning profit 100 and he is willing to pay 90 so someone else can pay 91 92 and they will get this technology they will not allow him to get this technology and if willingness to pay is more then he will be in a loss so the <coughs> <coughs> sorry these two have to be exactly equal to each other is this clear okay this is what i have written here how much will this bid pa be now we want to find out more about this bid so as i said we can use the method of arbitrage in order to use the method of arbitrage imagine if you go ahead and <coughs> present discount value kaise nikalenge imagine that you have pa rupees and you have invested this money in the bank so after one year you will get this pa back and you will also get return on this pa right this is after one year right but what is your return on pa beta return to sirf ye hai na so this is your return on pa so this acts as your profit right plus now let's think about the let's think about the next part suppose you buy any technology any investment worth pa So what will happen when you buy that one from that technology you will earn profit. <coughs> you learn profit. The second thing is from that technology. Suppose after one year you sell that technology to someone else. <coughs> suppose you sell that technology to someone else then what will happen but the, so suppose you purchased for 10 rupees you are selling for 12 rupees so change in price of technology is also your profit right so <clears throat> try to understand that this is the return from bank if you invest that money and this is the return if you purchase that technology from investor who has the patent rights you purchase that patent rights right and the two return must be equal to each other due to the problem of arbitrage kisi bhi ek mein zyada return hoga to sab log uski taraf attract honge uske return ko long run mein wo gir jayega so the two return must be equal to each other now if i just <coughs> rewrite this thing then i will go ahead and i will get r is equal to pi plus pa dot upon p so i will get r is equal to pi upon p a plus but a change in something upon its original value is called growth rate of p a 
तो ये मेरा इक्वेशन हो जाएगा आर सो दिस इज माई इक्वेशन फॉर आर है ना ओके नाउ अलोंग बैलेंस्ड पार्ट आई वॉन्ट दैट दिस शुड बी कॉन्स्टेंट राइट आई नो दैट दिस इज द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ ऑफ पी ए ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ द द प्राइज ऑफ पेटेंट दैट आई एम पे राइट एंड आई वॉन्ट दिस टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट है ना आर इज कॉन्स्टेंट so if r is constant the sum of two constant things will be constant so i want that these two should also be constant right so i want that pi by pa must be constant for pi and pa to be constant agar mai ko ek fraction ko constant karna hai so i want numerator and denominator to be individually constant right so it means that ya constant ho jaye dono ya dono ka growth rate same ho agar numerator aur denominator ka growth rate same hoga to <coughs> fraction grow nahi karega hai na to agar suppose maine numerator ko 10% se increase kar diya but denominator also increased by 10% fraction will remain unchanged so i want growth rate of pi should be equal to growth rate of pa <coughs> growth rate of pi should be equal to growth rate of pa and it actually turns out that this growth rate is also equal to growth rate of population so if you solve further you will realize that this is equal to growth rate of population theek hai to ab humne yahan pe kya kiya na we have written population growth rate here to mujhe mil gaya r is equal to pi by pa and this was growth rate of pa and this is equal to n this is equal to growth rate of population theek hai so from here we are finding the value of pa right so if i go ahead and i find the value of pa beta kya mil jayega i can take this here and i can get pi by pa equal to r minus n and i can get pa equal to pi upon r minus n pa equal to pi upon <coughs> r minus n so this is what i have written here so this is the amount that you are willing to pay for the patent this is the amount that you are willing to pay for patent is this clear okay now let's go ahead and let's talk further about solving the model so we have already done the three sectors there is nothing left in solving the model some features i have just made a note of these so we know that aggregate production function has increasing returns ye hum pad chuke hain ki production function ka increasing return hota hai अगर सिर्फ लेबर कैपिटल हो तो कांस्टेंट रिटर्न बट टेक्नोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स या ए फैक्टर हो जाए तो इंक्रीजिंग रिटर्न वी हैव आल्सो सीन दैट देयर इज एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ इम्परफेक्ट कंपटीशन जो फर्म्स होते हैं वो मोनोपोलिस्ट होते हैं बट वी हैव सीन दैट वट एवर मनी द इंटरमीडिएट फर्म सेक्टर इज अर्निंग दे आर जस्ट गिविंग दोज मनी टू द इन्वेस्टर तो जितना भी प्रॉफिट एक्सट्रैक्ट होता है द इंटायर प्रॉफिट इट इज बींग एक्सट्रैक्टेड बाय द इन्वेस्टर we have also gone ahead and we have seen that there is no economic profit in the model all rent is compensating the factor input okay ideally now what we are just going ahead and doing is to abhi tak hum assume kar rahe the that the share of people going in the research sector is constant right the share of labor going in the research sector is constant now we are assuming that we are you know allowing it to be determined within the model so instead of taking that the share of people working in the research sector is constant we are allowing it to be endogenously determined within the model theek hai theek hai there are three equations beta badi aasan aasan si hai so first let's talk about the people working in the final good sector to unko kitna wage milega the people working in the final good sector their wage should be equal to the marginal product of labor so this is the wage and wage is equal to the marginal product of labor in that sector okay so this is nothing but if you remember ye hamara mpl ka equation tha and we are just equating this to wage right ideally it should be equal to value of marginal product but price component is one so wage is equal to marginal product of labor in the final good sector second <clears throat> what about the research sector in research sector wage should be equal to their marginal product value of their marginal product 
और उनके कितना वैल्यू होगा मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट का सो इफ वी एज्यूम दैट ईच लेबर इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग थीटा एंड द प्राइस ऑफ द आइडिया क्रिएटेड इज पी ए हाँ तो जितने आइडिया क्रिएट हुए उसका हर लेबर ने थीटा प्रपोर्शन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट किया है सो दिस इज द आउटपुट जनरेटेड बाई ईच लेबर एंड द वेज विल बी इक्वल टू दैट right so the second equation says that the wage in the research sector it will be equal to the marginal product of the values created by these people okay now we have got two equation beta ek ye aa gaya aur ek ye aa gaya ab dekho if the wage offered in final good sector is more then everyone will work in final good sector if wage in research sector is more then everyone will work in research sector so i want my arbitrage condition i want that wage in the two sector must be the same right so what i will get is that <clears throat> this must be <clears throat> equal to this this must be equal to this this is what i have written here now we don't need to do all this algebra hame iske niche ka algebra karne ka zarurat nahi hai right but if you want i will just attach uh, the screenshot of the algebra but algebra karne ka zarurat nahi hai if you go ahead and you solve this a bit more so you remember ki instead of this pa i can put this value beta pi upon r minus n so instead of this pa i can <coughs> put up pi upon r minus n right <clears throat> after doing certain algebra huh uh, what you will go ahead and what you will find out you know after you put that uh we know that labor in the research sector is some share of the total labor after you go ahead and you do these things you will realize that the share of labor in the research sector will come out to this ये फॉर्मूला आ जाए राइट दिस इज वॉट वी हैड टू फाइंड आउट इन दिस मॉडल सो द मॉडल वॉज एमिंग टू फाइंड आउट द शेयर ऑफ लेबर इन द रिसर्च सेक्टर एंड द फॉर्मूला फॉर दैट वी हैव डिराइव इज दिस इज एस आर डैश और एस आर स्टार नाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो गो एड एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो लुक एट डिफरेंट रिलेशनशिप्स दैट हाउ एस आर स्टार चेंजेस एज एन चेंजेस as r changes as alpha changes as g changes ha to inke change hone pe sr star kaise kaise change hota hai you can also go ahead and you can also make a note of that theek okay beta thank you